Welcome to Align Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda and I'll be guiding our practice today. Our practice today is our memory verse flow. We are memorizing scripture as we connect it to breath and movement. And our scripture verse today comes from the Psalms, Psalm 130, verse 5. The psalmist says this, I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. What are you waiting for? How is the Lord going to answer into that? I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. The Hebrew word for being there is all encompassing. It means soul, it means body. All of me waits. And in his word, I put my hope. His story, his faithfulness through the ages. I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. As I record this, it's Advent, and so we can read this in a slightly different context as well. I literally wait for the Lord, I wait for the coming of Christ. Not just the celebration of Christmas and this birth that happened in the past, but this promise of this Christ who comes in the future. Christ has born, Christ has died, Christ will come again. I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. I invite you to sit cross-legged, maybe elevating the hips up on a blanket or a block, just lifting up a few inches to release a little bit through the hip. Today a hip opening practice, working our way into cow face posed with legs crossed. We'll get there. Go ahead and take the hands to the um, thigh and rotate the muscles away from the leg towards the knee. Do that on both sides. And then take your thumb to the inside of the knee and take that other hand to the calf muscles, the soleus, the gastrocnemius, and go ahead and bring those muscles out away from the body, other side, find that sitting position again when you're finished, noticing maybe the pose has already shifted and changed, closing your eyes, find your breath, noticing where you begin with your practice today. Is your breath deep? Is it shallow? Is it fast? Is it slow? And breathing in and out through the nose, can you inhale all the way down the body? Feeling the breath move the body all the way down to the pelvis and exhaling, can you exhale up the entire length of the spine? And can you find a breath with no beginning and no end? Begin to notice how the body is moving with the breath. The chest rising and falling, the rib cage opening. Maybe you can feel the breath in the back of the body as well. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. And in him and in his word, I put my hope. Taking a deep breath in, arms rise high up and overhead, and exhaling, find a gentle twist to the right, just wrapping the oblique muscles of the abdominals around the spine. As you come forward again, hinging slightly at the hips, the arms scooping up, 
And exhaling, twist to the other side. So back and forth here, arms rising, finding your twist. Each direction, moving with breath. Adding the scripture verse, reaching up. I wait for the Lord, finding the twist to the right. My whole being waits. Bring the arms forward, rising up. And in his word, go ahead and twist the other direction, I put my hope. So again, I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. And in his word, I put my hope. Gently come forward, I invite you to come off the block. Go ahead and bring that right leg in front, that left leg behind you in a pinwheel. So that front shin parallel to the front edge of the mat, back knee bent at a 90 degree angle, feet flexed to protect the knees, hand to hip. Gently just lift and lower the hip. How easily does the body move? Two more times here. And then bring the hand back to the foot and around to the other hand. Back and forth here. And one more time. Bring the arm up parallel to the floor, palm down as it comes down to the hand up as it goes back to the foot. Still lifting and lowering that hip, beginning to move the head in the opposite direction. And if that wasn't enough to think about, let's add that scripture verse in. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. And in his word, I put my hope. Sweep the arm all the way up. Lift as the arm rises. Exhale, come back to the mat. And two more times here. Rising and falling with breath. And then come up and stay up. Begin to find the opening in the front of the body in the psoas muscle as the hip points lift forward and up. There's a small arch in the back, finding that first back bend today. And then come down and release. Lift and lower the front knee and rock side to side. Again, you know how easy or hard is this? There's no right answer. What range of motion do you have? And adding the body to this, drop the head and the shoulders and the rib cage down and then rise. And two more times here. If you're ready, let that leg come down. Bring the body over the leg, centered over the knee. Head resting down on the hands, or stacked fists, or a block or prop. And begin to massage out the forehead, releasing any tension in the neck, in the forehead, in the jaw. Notice what happens if you flex your feet. I'm getting comfortable with stillness, with waiting. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. And it is in his word that I put my hope. Gently press into your hands and rise. Go ahead and bring the legs in front of you, straightening out the legs. Go ahead and bounce the knees, windshield wiper the feet. 
and come into your pinwheel on the other side. So again, this front shin parallel with the edge of the mat, this back knee bent at a 90 degree angle, feet flexed, hand to hip, lift and lower. Back and forth here. Continuing with the hip lift, shift the hand, bringing it down towards the foot, over to the other hand. One more time. Let the arm rise parallel to the floor. Palm comes across facing down and then to the foot facing up and begin to look opposite the arm and add the scripture verse. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. And it is in his word I put my hope. Bringing the hand behind you, that left hand behind you, sweep the right arm up, lift the hips high, exhaling, come back. So back and forth here a few times. And the next time you come up, stay up here. So, you know, again, just noticing how high are those hips lifted. Can you anchor from the abdominals, drawing the abdominals in? Let the shoulders relax. And as you're ready, to sweep that arm back down and around. Hands to either side of the leg. Begin lifting and lowering this front leg, rocking over the hips. I'm actually rocking from one hip to the other, back and forth here. And then as you're ready, adding the movement of the body, dropping in head and shoulders and rib cage. So back and forth here. And one more time. And then as you bring the leg down, let the body follow and just rest on top of that leg. Provide whatever support your head needs. Flex your feet again if they've started to relax. How is this stretch different from the stretch on the other side? Saying the scripture verse. I wait. For the Lord. My whole being waits. And it is in His word I put my hope. Take one more breath here. As you ready, press into the hands and rise up. Come forward into table and continuing to warm up the lower back, or the entire back. Find your cat and your cow. So feeling the shift in the lower back as you tilt the hips up and down. Noticing the response as the spine rises to the sky and sinks to the floor. And two more times here, are you moving with your breath? Meet me in table and find a strong table with a neutral position of the spine, the head a natural extension of the spine, so it's not too far up or down. And then curling the toes under, draw knees to rib cage, pressing the rib cage towards the thighs, extending through the arms. Shake your head out, no and yes. Beginning to find downward facing dog. And then pedal through your feet. Move the legs side to side. 
I'm still warming up here, exploring what's going on in the calf muscles and the hamstrings. Maybe you can feel this in the shoulder girdle. Make any adjustments you need to make. Taking a deep breath in, heels rise. Let's stay here for a breath. As you exhale, imagine the fingers pushing the mat away from the toes. One more inhale. And let the heels drop towards the mat. Stay here for two breaths. What is this first downward dog, downward facing dog telling you? On the next inhale, the right leg rises high. Gaze forward, bring the foot all the way through the hands. Let that back knee come down and up, just tapping the mat lightly. One more time here. Then let that knee come down to the mat, top of the foot to the mat, bring the hands to the center as you toe heel that front foot out. And today, I invite you to stay here. So wrists directly underneath the shoulders, fingers spread wide. Begin to drop a little bit into that back hip and then activate the muscles. So find a little bit of strength in the leg, in the abs. Maybe this front foot rolls to the outside if you want a little more stretch in the inner thigh. Can you keep that sensation strong as well? So rather than flopping the leg down, it's a controlled stretch. One more breath here. As you're ready, toe heel that front foot back to center. Raise the back thigh to the sky. Float the front foot to the back. Meet knee in plank. Coming down to the knees, come down to the mat. Forearms to the mat, rise in and out of Sphinx Pose. Connecting with breath. Adding the scripture verse. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. And it is in his word I put my hope. you're ready, come into Sphinx and stay there. Find the strength in the pose, activating the muscles of the legs as you press down with the tops of the feet, engaging the abdominals, drawing the navel in towards the spine and up, softening the rib cage. As you're ready, exhale down, hands to rib cage. Come back to downward facing dog. Stay in downward dog for one breath, noticing the effects of that sequence. All encompassing, body, mind, and soul. On that next inhale, the left leg rises high. And as the gaze draws forward, engage the abdominals and float that foot through the hands. Back knee taps down and up. Back and forth here. And next time that back knee comes to the mat, leave it there, top of the foot to the mat. Gently toe heel your front foot off the mat so that the heel is still on but the ball of the foot is off. And again, wrist directly underneath the shoulders. If this gets uncomfortable for your wrists, feel free to make a fist so that you're not bending the wrist. Again, can you drop and sink a little bit into this right hip and then activate it? Imagine those hip points pulling forward and up. And maybe this front leg comes more out to the side as you roll to the outside edge of that foot. Where do you feel the release in the pose? 
Where do you feel the work? One more breath here. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. And in his word, I put my hope. Bring that front foot in, toe, heel to center. Raise that back leg up. This time, float the back leg up to the front. Meet me in forward fold. Maybe holding onto your elbows, looking back behind your legs. Gently just moving side to side. Settle at center, beginning to find length in the spine. Play with the legs a little bit, bending and straightening the knees, and find that hamstring stretch that's right for you. A little bit of tension, but no struggle, no shaking. And then hands to shins, rise up halfway, and exhale down and pressing through the feet. Come all the way up, mountain pose, strong mountain pose. I wait for the Lord, hands to heart, my whole being waits. Arms rise, and in his word, I put my hope. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway. Exhaling, come down, press into the right foot. Take that left leg back, rise into a standing lunge, a high lunge. And dropping down to your knee is always your option. Right hand to the small of the back. Use those oblique muscles to wrap around the spine and Come into the twist as that opposite arm comes across the leg. And find the pose. Find it with breath. And don't be afraid to shift a little bit with where the weight is on your feet. Right? The way that the hand supports the back. Find your pose. Release, come to center, bring that left arm up to the sky and elbow reaches high. And as you do this, you know, can you maybe bring the rib cage in a little bit more, engaging through the abdominals, and then bring this outside arm optional if you choose it, that right arm back and around, catching the fingers, finding stretch here. And if you still want more tricep stretch, you can just dip that right shoulder a little bit. And there's a little bit of a bend at the waist to the side. As you're ready, release. Come center. Bring the arms all the way up. Find your back bend. And exhale, hands to either side of the foot. Front foot comes to the back. Meet me in plank. Come down to the mat, however you choose to do that. Find your back bend. And curling toes under, exhale your way to downward dog. Drawing the gaze forward, bring the feet all the way through the hands. Find your forward fold. And hands to shins, rise up halfway and exhale down. And as you rise in the mountain, add the scripture verse, I wait for the Lord. And palms together, hands to heart. My whole being waits. Arms rise. I put, it is in his word I put my hope. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to shins, come up halfway. Exhaling, come down. Lead that left foot there. Bring that right leg back. Again, rise high. Settle here, engaging through the abdominals, finding breath. One more breath here. Go ahead and bring that left hand to the small of the back. Find your twist as that right arm reaches across. Maybe the front shin comes a little closer to the front edge of the mat, knee resting over the ankle. Adjust to find your twist. Maybe you can draw the belly in a little bit more or drop the shoulder. 
And then as you're ready, lots of strength and balance here as we stay in this lunge. Arms rise, and that right elbow comes to the sky. You know, again, do you have that tendency like I do to pop the ribs? And if you do, can you really anchor them in? And maybe this other arm comes around and back. And find your tricep stretch. And if you want more, you're just going to dip that left shoulder towards the mat, bending slightly to the side. And can you keep that right arm near your ear? Back to center, bring the arms all the way up. Exhaling, hands to either side of the foot, bring the front foot to the back. Meet me in plank, from plank come down to the mat. Find your back bend. And meet me in downward facing dog. So stay in downward facing dog and say the scripture verse on your own. Come forward into plank. And from plank, draw the knees to the mat and meet me in table. So I'm going to turn to face you to show you where I'm headed here. So as we find cow face pose, you may want to block back by your feet. Take that right knee towards your nose. Bring the foot up and over around the other leg. So my front leg is out slightly to the side. Bring that back leg to the side. And if you want it, this block is going to come right underneath your hips so that you can sit on it, okay? If you're more flexible, I'll show it to you from here. You know, go slowly so that you know your limits. You know, but maybe your hips do come all the way down to the mat. So it's a pretty intense stretch for the outside of the hip there, gluteus medius. Go ahead and maybe hold on to the feet. Find alignment as the hips sink and the shoulders settle. And then you're a option with the right leg in front is to take the left arm up, finding that tricep stretch again, bringing that right hand behind, and finding the full expression of the pose here. Say the scripture verse, I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits for you. And it is in my word, in his word, I put my hope. If you're ready, release. Let the hands come down. I invite you to take the hands behind you. Lean back and unwind the legs. Bring them forward and sit up, shaking the legs out. Meet me back in table. So finding this again, and I'll show it to you with the block from this angle. So from table, this time it's my left leg that's going to come forward and across. I'm going to take that right shin out to the side a little bit. If you want the block, it's right underneath the hips as you come down. And you're sitting on the block. And if it's better for you to come all the way down, that is your option. So again, you decide what does your body need in this practice? And maybe it's different than your practice tomorrow or your practice yesterday. If you want to add the tricep stretch, the right arm comes up, elbow to sky. Anchor through the abdominals, arm stays close to your cheek, 
Other hand might come around as those fingers connect. Another option is to use a tea towel and to connect the hands with the towel. Say the scripture verse. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. And it is in his word I put my hope. Unwind. Go ahead and let those feet come forward. Again, bounce the knees. Windshield wiper the feet. Bend the knees and come down onto your back. Bring the knees in. Give yourself a hug and rock side to side. And find your breath again and check in. What do you notice? Hands to shins, go ahead and circle, or hands to knees, circle the knees on the ceiling. Knees massaging out your back. And then go the other direction. And then as you're ready, knees come into the rib cage and away, back and forth here. And as you're ready, feet come down to the mat. And extend the legs long. Bring the arms up to the sky, palms facing in, reach as high as you can. Let those shoulder blades thump to the mat and do that twice more. And let the arms softly come down to your side, palms up. Closing your eyes, find Shavasana, this final pose of your practice. What are you waiting for? What do you want Jesus to do for you? Or maybe the cry of your heart is simply, come, Lord Jesus, come. We're waiting for the final restoration of all of heaven and earth. If you have time, I invite you to stay here a little longer. If you need to get on with your day, begin to wiggle fingers and toes, wrists and ankles, gently bringing movement back to the body. Gently begin to turn your head side to side from the top of one ear up and over to the top of the other. And that deep breath in, bring arms up and overhead and reach as long as you can, fingers to one wall, toes to the other. And 
And then bending your knees, eyes still closed, roll over onto your side, supporting your head with your hand. And stay here for another breath. And then next inhale, press into your hands and rise up to a sitting position. Finding your sitting bones. Check in, body, mind, and soul. What has changed since you came to the mat today? What has stayed the same? Accepting it as it is. On the next inhale, arms rise, palms together, exhaling, hands to heart. Joining me in prayer. Come, Lord, come. In the meantime, help us to be agents of restoration. As you restore us, body, mind, and soul, bringing us back to the wholeness that you have designed us for. We are so grateful for the work of the cross, the union between heaven and earth. And it is in the name of Jesus the Christ that we pray. Amen. Thank you for practicing with me today.